Hey everybody, it's Operation. Welcome back for more Let's Play Persona 3 Fez. In the last part, we uh, got through another door, and in this part, uh, yeah, yeah, another door. Um, I'm actually going to skip the grinding, or not the grinding, but the trek uh, to the first boss. Because, uh, yeah, it was longer than... Uh, I'd like to show off and uh, it wasn't long enough that I'd speed up so the speeding up part will again be later uh, in the last part or you know towards the end of this uh, episode so yeah keep that in mind uh, Fuka didn't there's no voice acting for that part so yeah whatever anyway we're jumping right into the first boss here not even a minute in and we're at a boss so yeah uh, this is the Brave Wheel, uh, Judgment Sword, and Ice Raven. Um, so your strategy for this is you want to spam all out attacks. Um, but first let's go over the weaknesses. Brave Wheel has the skills Evade Ice, Maragion, Strike Attack, um, and Matarunda. Uh, it also apparently has Counter, so yeah. And uh, it uses Fire Attack Agulo. Its weakness is ice and it drains fire. And then there's the Judgment Sword with the skills of Aid Winds, Yunga, Fire Break, Mazayunga, and Counter. It uh, is weak to wind and it drains electric. And then finally there's the Ice Raven with the skills of Aid Fire, Mabufula, Fire Break, Bufula, Tentrafu, and Counter with the weakness to fire and drains ice. So yeah, basically what you're going to want to do is make sure you scan the enemies and uh, you're going to want to make sure that uh, there's no Zeo attacks going on because that'll knock down, uh, that'll knock down uh, Yukari. So um, yeah, make sure that the Judgment Sword is knocked down as much as possible because if she goes down it makes this fight really difficult. Um. This is by far the hardest of the two bosses in my opinion. The second boss we'll be taking on is pretty easy honestly. So you won't struggle with that one. I think the second boss took me like three tries and this one took me like seven or eight just because of the fact that uh, all the dodge weakness uh, skills they have so yeah uh, once you get past this guy you'll be pretty good. Um, also something I should note for this part right here the audio corrupted and it uh, basically got off sync so I am re I resynced it manually I don't think you'll notice too much of a difference but uh, just thought I'd throw that in there hopefully it sounds about right also I like how we had two swings and misses right there <laughs> ah, good job team good job and oh yeah they'd like to spam that attack down um, they also can, uh, I don't know, let me check if the guy had mentioned this. Uh, did it mention this? Yeah, it did. Or, no, I don't think it did. Um, they can also lower your defense. So, yeah. It only, I think it only mentions that they lower, yeah, it only mentions that they lower attack, but they can also lower your defense. Uh, lowering your defense is by far what you want to look out for. Um, lowering your offense, while it will make you take longer to kill them, it's not the end of the world. So here I decided that I wasn't going to take advantage of the all-out attack, simply because two out of our four party members are down. So our all-out attack would not have not done much damage. Yukari is a soft weight and... I don't know, I guess does decent amount of damage, but yeah, with just Yukari as our support for an all attack. No, I'm 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 gonna pass on that. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> so we'll just let them get back up here and uh keep on the attack here. Um, but yeah, uh once you scan them and get your teammates to start helping you on knocking them down, it's not as bad. You just need to try and get through the first several turns until they're all scanned because, again, can't control your teammates and yeah. But just count how many times I miss because of their dodge weakness attacks. 
I swear it's astronomical. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Um, if you want to play it safe, what you could do if you get a good turn order is basically, if you knock them all down, do an all-out attack, and then if it's on like, see here where Junpei has them all not all knocked down. Uh, instead of all that attacking, um, you could just wait, and then they don't get a turn. So, if you want to try and do that, you can. It's kind of what I went for, just because I didn't want Yukari to die. Um, it's, again, it makes the fight take way longer, but, you know, what again? I died way too many times to BS from these enemies, that it wasn't worth it. But, I... Highly recommend uh, Metis for this fight because she has both ice and uh, Garu attacks. And while Yukari does have Garu attacks, she's going to be her healer, so she's not going to be using them most of the time. So. You know, what are you going to do? And see, look, it just <laughs> wrecks Yukari. It absolutely destroys her. So letting it attack is not in your best interest. <laughs> Uh, um, but Jack Frost is still ideal pretty much for this. See, look, I, I mean, right there, again, it evaded ice. Ah, so frustrating, so frustrating. Anywho, uh, another boo flow here from Metis. Will it hit? Hey, it actually did. Metis seemed to have a better hit rate than I did in this fight. Um, no idea why. Of course, I said that she missed. But I promised you I was victorious in this fight. I cut out all my failed attempts, so you don't have to see that. Although maybe you would like to see that. Maybe you're the type of person that likes seeing people, and more specifically me, struggle. So That is very possible. I know a lot of people that like to see me struggle. Uh, but there's still a lot harder bosses than this coming up. If you're one of those people that likes watching me struggle, you're definitely a... Uh, Definitely gonna get your wish soon. No doubt about that. Uh, these last bosses, uh, they're no pushover. I will say that right now. These last bosses, uh, when we get to the final couple doors, uh, the, it gets to the point where it's like, you just get murdered. It's like three of the same enemy with no weaknesses, and they spam physical attacks, and, uh, I'm not looking forward to that. But we're not at that part yet. We're not at that part. Luckily, we're not at that part. Maybe I'm remembering it being worse than it actually is. I only played the answer once before, like I said, so... Maybe I'm just remembering it pretty badly. All out attack! Let's go! Um, once you take out one or two of them, it gets considerably easier. <laughs> but I swear they have so much freaking health that it takes forever to do that. Uh, next fight goes way quicker. I think I beat the next fight in like six or seven minutes, I think. Well, as this one takes like 24, I think. I think this boss takes like 24 minutes for me to beat. Or, I don't know, let me check. I can check this really quick. Uh, and six. No, never mind. It takes 15 minutes. The two together take 24. So, my bad. I lied to you again. So this, yeah, this fight took 15 minutes. So. Never listen to me. Um, yeah, the fight's looking pretty bad here. Uh, luckily, Junpei gets a s critical that probably saves my life in all honesty. So I need to basically find a way to knock all the enemies down and uh, get Metis and Yukari up. <laughs> uh, I'm down to 15 health here. I'm like, oh god, it's over. It's all over. But luckily I go on a nice little streak here. Where things start to finally break my way. I don't know why I was checking Black Frost. <laughs> uh, but yeah, things finally start to go my way right about now. Hit him with a Bupla. And then I believe I connect with this... F oh wait, no, that's right. I use the Revival Bead to get up Metis. And then I'm like, Junpei, please, please hit this guy. And luckily he does come through for us, which is great. 
Um, an unintended consequence, though, of Meta's dying is she goes after them from this point forward, and that really becomes valuable. <laughs> because, uh, after they get up, she could just hit them again, and then when it's our turn, we only have, like, one enemy to hit. Also, right there, you can see where the video split, so there's a slight distortion right there in the video. I apologize for that. But... That's like the only part, I, there's nothing I can do to fix that, and uh, I had to resync the audio, so I think that more than that weighs the slight video skip we have right there, so. Again, my apologies for that, but there's nothing I can do to fix that part. I'm just thankful I was able to f fix the audio, because sometimes it's not so easy to fix the audio, so. Yeah. I was getting stressed here, I was like, what do I do? Do I attack or do I get Yukari up? It's like, what do I do? I, just, I, I think I end up deciding I'm gonna go ahead and try to attack it with a Garu and then uh, get Yukari up. I think that's what I decided to do. Because you can see here, I'm just, I, I'm stuck thinking. It's like, what do I do? Because uh, Orbis is weak to uh, ice attacks. So. I mean, with 65 health, I guess it doesn't really matter, but, yeah. Oh, it evades wind. It actually, I miss. That's right. And right here, I actually threw my controller. <laughs> I literally threw my controller at this point. It's like, oh my god, I am so screwed, because it's one hit, and I'm dead. <laughs> so I'm like, it's done. I'm, I'm screwed, but no, it attacks metas. So I got extremely lucky right there. I, I should have it should have been game over right right at that point. That was game set and match. But hey, you know, I'll take it. And Metas luckily gets a critical here, so they're all down. And I debate for a second, do I actually go for the all attack? And I'm like, no. No, no chance. I need to get Yukari up. I absolutely I mean I need, look at the state of my party. It's like, I have 65, 144 for Metis, and Jupiter. So it's like, we're all dead in one hit. So I'm like, no, I, got, I gotta play this. I gotta play this safe, get my healer back into this. And just take this turn to heal. Uh, ultimately, it turns out to be the right decision, but I start to regret it a bit. <laughs> because, I mean, I could have gant what I could have done instead of just taking that turn to heal. I could have gambled, done the whole lot of attack, and then gone for it myself to knock them all down. But at the rate, see, again, evade wind. At the rate they're evading these attacks, I'm like, ah, uh, my odds are not very good. <laughs> they are not good at all. So, yeah. But again, ultimately, it turns out to be the right decision, but at the time, I was kind of, it was like, uh, what do I do? What do I do? But hey, I played it safe, and uh, ultimately in the end, it turns out A-OK. -okay. And then that's all you can really ask for. I love how it dodged my attack there. <laughs> but my health is so low that I really can't do all that attacks <laughs> as much as I want to. I just, I can't, because if all three of these guys get to attack, oh, uh, I would just, I'd be screwed. <laughs> The ice attack would do nothing to me, but the fire and the zeal, uh, that's another story. I know Black Frost is strong against it, but the fire attack, I think, in a previous recording, I got, like, in my, one of my failed runs, I got hit by it. I think it still did, like, 100 damage or something. Even with, uh, Black Frost being strong to it. So, even though you have, uh, even though you have Black Frost, it's by no means, uh, by no means are you safe. That much is absolutely for sure. <laughs> don't take it for don't take any part of this fight for granted, or else you will die. I guarantee you that. So here we're basically down to them having like one hit left. So yeah, it's nervous times. They get two attacks off. I'm at 181 HP. Oh, here we go. Oh, it actually only did 59. Maybe that was with my, de it's probably my defense was lowered when it did 100, that's probably what I'm thinking of. And the Vade Ice kicked in again. Gotta love it, gotta love it. <laughs> ah. Very stressful, very stressful this fight. 
You have to game plan every single attack. Every, do you go for the all-out attack? Do you not go for it? Oh, it's such a stressful fight. But luckily, I'm almost... I can see the end here. I'm like, I can finally see the light at the end of the evil boss fight tunnel. And I'm down to 18 MP here, so... It's like, I really need this fight to end soon. Granted, I have some MP restoring items, but... There's some fights later on in the game that I'm for sure going to want to use them on, so... Let's do it! All that attack! And I believe, yeah. Okay, so... We're down to one enemy now. Now it gets considerably easier. 129 damage. See, look at those attacks. Granted, uh, Oribus doesn't have the best defense, but... Or endurance stat, rather. But still. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It's a pretty bad attack. And look, it still survives that attack. But luckily, Yukari finishes off right there. But man, if that fight went on for like one more turn, uh, I would have been so screwed. <laughs> it would have been over. Absolutely over. But hey, we got to level 41 now, so that's good. That is A OK. -okay. Uh, Orbis leveling up, not that helpful. You get wind break, which is okay, I guess. But I never really use the break attacks, so. You know, meh, whatever. B chain and a precious egg are rewards, so. Hooza! And back to the desert doors. Whee! And now time to skip forward. Like magic to Antonora, the 18th floor, right before a uh, mini cutscene. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. That reaction again was it in the form of a person? What does this mean? It feels just like a human does, but there couldn't be anyone here. Who could that mysterious person slash thing slash entity be? We may never know. Anyway, um, I've used a new persona, Samel, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not going to be using it in this fight, but it's a pretty good persona, so you should fuse it uh, whenever you have time. So, equip Black Frost and then head down here and get ready for another f really annoying fight, but not as bad as the last one. Shadows confirmed. But that figure over there, it doesn't seem to have any intention of attacking us. Anyway, for now, concentrate on the shadows ahead. Here they come. Here we go, guys. Time for another uh, boss fight. Uh, again, not as hard as the last one, but still kind of annoying. This is the Shouting Tiara, Primitive Idol, and Wrathful Book. Uh, the Shouting Tiara has the skills of 8 Ice, Ice Break, Tetracarn, and Media with the weakness to Ice. Primitive Idol has the moves of 8 Electric, Bufudine, Mind Charge, Megiddo, and Mabufula. And Wrathful Book has Evade Fire, Stagnant Nair, Mas Masukaja, and Infuriate. So, one of the strategies they'd like to do is they like to have, um, whatchamacallit, the Wrathful Book use Stagnant Air, and then Infuriate, and then Shouting Tiara will use the skill Tetracarn, and basically you'll be raged and you'll kill yourself. You'll attack the shield and you'll just kill yourself. So, if that happens, you're pretty much screwed. There's not really much you can do. See, it spams Stagnant Air here, and I'm like, uh-oh. What am I going to do here if this if they connect? Um, you definitely want Yukari and heal support because she will be able to use one um, in, uh, whatever, Disinfuriate, whatever. I think it's called Disrage. I think that's the item name. Um, she'll be able to use one of those. So you definitely want her in heal support for this because, again, you can't control your teammates and use your items. So you're going to want to do that so that... Uh, she can heal you uh, with that, and you won't, you know, just kill yourself. Um, also, for this fight, I don't have any personas with Zeo, <laughs> as bad as that is to say. So I use Zeo gems. 
Um, but yeah, you're gonna wanna use uh, Persona with Zeo, or you can just use Zeo gems like I did. But you're gonna wanna use Black Frost for the fire and ice attacks, so. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, just keep up the pressure, knock them down. They have nowhere near as much health as the last enemy. Again, I don't know why they put the easier one before, I mean the harder one before the easier one, but... See, right there, I got infuriated, so I'm screwed, but Yukari uses the Dis Rage, and that's that's what saves me. Because if I was... The Mubufu Dine wouldn't have killed me, because, you know, I have Black Frost and he nulls ice damage. But, um, yeah, I could have been deadly if, uh, if, you know, I was raged and just killed myself because they threw up a shield. Or if they just attacked me regular with anything but ice, pretty much. <laughs> so... I got bailed out by Yukari, which is good. But she only has one of them, so don't press it. I also decided to put Metis in Ornia mode, because I wanted the extra attack power, and they all seem to do, be pretty smart, so I decided to go for it. So there's the Yonga gem, and now another all-out attack. Whee! So that was my last Yonga gem, though. I only had three of them, so... From this point on, no Zionga gems. So I basically have to rely on Metis, although she does a really, really good job. Because she kills that guy right there, so we're already one enemy down. Her attack power, when you put her in Orgia mode, is really, really OP. <laughs> Again, she's the best party member like in the game by far. Now, Yukari gets enraged here, but it actually ends up kind of being okay. Because she kills the enemy, and then she's dead. But, you know, it's like, whatever. I'm like, I don't need her. <laughs> Screw it. I don't need her. So, it all works out in the end. Well, it, it's actually really funny how I end up killing this boss. <laughs> Just wait until we get to that, to the end of this fight. It's You'll actually laugh at how I kill this boss. It's hilariously funny, <laughs> in my opinion. So, right here, I was thinking, okay, what do I do? Do I try to get somebody up? But, uh, what do I do? I decided to get Yukari up, which actually was a dumb move because she just dies again. But watch, now it uses, inf this is where it gets funny. Now it uses Infuriate, and I'm enraged. So I'm like, okay, I'm screwed. It's GG. But, uh, Metis tanks it, and I block ice. So, I get enraged. I kill this enemy. <laughs> and then, I attack that again. And now, I guess attacks this guy, so I'm like, okay, it's gonna use Ice Attack, I'll be fine. But it ends up using Mind Charge, so that works out anyway. And I'm still enraged, so I get two attacks, and I kill the enemy. <laughs> Not the way I drew up that boss fight by any means, but... Hallelujah, that was hilarious. It restores your health a little when you descend to the next floor. So yeah, Fuku can now use Healing Wave, which is cool. Uh, you'll get a little HP back after each floor. But yeah, that is this episode. It actually wasn't that long, huh? We're like 23 minutes in. <laughs> but yeah, uh, coming the rest of the video, uh, I grinded quite a bit. I, I'm going to grind more off screen, but I grinded quite a bit. And as well as a cutscene featuring everyone's favorite comic, Junpei. Also, I got a Soma, which is awesome, and a Trace to Jim. But yeah, stay tuned for the grinding and, uh, you know, an awesome scene with Junpei, but yeah, that was the two bosses. So thank you guys for watching and enjoy the awesome song and, you know, a pretty cool scene with Junpei, I gotta say. But yeah, that'll do it for me, guys. See you guys in part six. So yeah, see you guys then.
wanted to get by. Depends on what you choose now. What would a blow? Music came to upload, and I had a little talk of destiny. That's all. But nothing ever moves accordingly. Handled it well, the conduct's disorderly. Never made it to Fox City, but most importantly, good prevail. Grab hearts and majority. I'm a curious cat, but can't give me satisfaction. Done more than what's asked. That's the real fact. Just the passion expanded. Cause if I don't fake life, that's real sassy. Sometimes truth kills my knowledge is power. Used to wish no change, that's life after. But like the same change comes constantly. Growth is optional. Choose wisely. Let's let the soul breeze. Talk to us, go with a flow. Let's keep them riding. Stupid old man. How low do you have to be to get drunk on cooking wine? But I guess it's just as pathetic to rush out like this every day. <sighs> man, 
What am I gonna do? I got nowhere to go. Yo, sup, Pooch? Here to join my nowhere to go after school club? <laughs> Sorry, Pooch. I don't have any food for you. You know, haven't I seen you around here before? Hey, it's Junpei. Huh? Oh, hey, guys. Why the long face? Are you that sad that we're in different homerooms now? Still dumb as rocks, huh? Wait, isn't it way past your dorm curfew? What are you guys doing out so late? Ah, uh, we snuck out. When you get to be a junior, you learn the secret exit. Hey, we're going to Escapade. Want to come with? We're helping this guy drown his sorrows over a girl. That's not true. <laughs> Don't let it get to you. That's what you get for going after someone like Yukari Takeba. Although I never expected her to hook up with the new transfer student. I guess she goes for that kind of dark side of his. Dark? He seems like a regular dude to me. Oh, I'm serious. That transfer kid? Rumor has it both his parents died when he was little. Someone got a peek at his file when Toriyumi left it lying around. Man, you're so gullible. That stuff only happens in soap operas. Hey, I said it was a rumor. Come on, let's get going. You snooze, no booze. Booze? Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna pass. Huh? What's the matter? Come on, why don't you live a little? I said I'm gonna pass. I just ain't in the mood. Well, man, looks like I'm the only one you got to console you. They keep telling you nothing happened. <laughs> they offered to hang out and I turned them down. Things never go the way I want them to. My life really as bad as it seems now. I wish there was, like, something I could do to change the world. Like, some awesome skill that no one else has. <laughs> Don't give me that. I'm sure someday we can make some real friends that'll listen to us. All the scenes in my past. You guys had to see that one. Junpei. Dude, I know. I was surprised to see you too. So, you were the dog from that day. Makes it seem kind of like destiny. Looking back, that was the day Akihiko-san found me. The only place I could go from there was the convenience store. And that's where I was when the dark hour hit. You were bawling in the dark with that awful expression. Honestly, you looked worse than the shadows. Well, what was I supposed to do? That was the scariest damn moment of my life, man. <laughs> but you know, I had other stuff to deal with, like my old man. So staying at the dorm, and fighting shadows, and all that stuff, looked pretty good. I see. Unlike me and my sister, other people usually have reasons to awaken. I comprehend. I had my reasons as well. However, in my case, it happened in reverse. I had the power first, and gained a reason later. Now that I mention it, you're... Hmm... I think I'm starting to get it. There is a reason we see what we see inside the doors. Doors that have delivered on that reason disappear, and those with roles still to play remain. A reason? What kind of reason? I can't say for sure. But if we keep moving forward, I think we'll start seeing it. 
<laughs> Let's do our best, sister. You... You're right. Until then, it hadn't even occurred to me to wonder about it. She's so full of emotion. Nothing like me when I woke up in July. But she'd never had any chance to come into contact with others. Was there a moment when she discovered her emotions? As I did? The seed of my curiosity was planted. As I began to wonder. <laughs>